I'm a Russian blogger who had to flee Russia. Since last week, you can now go to jail for up to 10 years just for acknowledging that this invasion is a real war and not just a special operation, which is the term used by the state propaganda. I've openly criticized this war, so I had to flee the country a couple of days ago with my girlfriend, our dog and cat. But I still have many friends who have stayed in Russia and share with me all the updates on what's going on. Today I'll tell you more about what Russians think about this war. First of all, I'd like to say that I, like most educated Russians, do not support Putin and never supported him. And I do not in the slightest support this horrible war. Not all Russians hold the same views as me, but not many of them are fond of this war, which I will now prove. Let's look at the polls. In December 2021, the rating of Putin was around 32%, according to an independent polling organization Levada Center. Levada Center. Before that, it had been steadily declining during the previous couple of years. However, today, results of latest polls held in Russia <laughs> it's my dog tell us that 77% support Putin. Kind of strange, right? Such a huge increase in popularity over such a short period of time. 77%? Maybe it's because of the war? Maybe so many people started loving Putin since the start of the war? Well, not exactly. And I'm 100% certain that these latest polls have been falsified. And here's why. Let's look at another poll. A year ago, in April 2021, 28% of Russians believe that the Donetsk and Lugansk regions of Ukraine should be independent states and 25% believe that they should become part of Russia, like Crimea did in 2014. For those of you who don't know, the Donetsk and Lugansk regions of Ukraine or the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics are two unrecognized states with uh, pro-Russian separatist governments who were supported since 2014 by the Russian military. They were both formed in 2014, soon after the annexation of Crimea, but at that time Russia did not recognize them, nor did other countries. On the 22nd February 2022, Russia recognized these two republics and soon after it invaded the territory of Ukraine. Why Putin did this uh, is a separate question, and I'll make a video on this, on this possible explanation for this, so don't forget to subscribe. But today we're speaking about what Russians really think about it. As I said, a year ago, 28% of Russians were in favor of recognizing the republics, and 25% of Russians were in favor of annexing them. So overall, around a half of Russians believe that Russia should be doing anything, something with the republics. In principle, nothing has changed during that year before the start of the war. There was no massive waves of state propaganda in favor of recognizing the republics during the previous year, which could have shifted the opinion of the population. There was no significant escalation of military conflict in the eastern Ukraine during that time. So most Russians more or less forgot about this conflict in the east of Ukraine and did not think about it. However, on the 22nd February 2022, a Russian state poll agency, FTSIOM, held a poll that showed that 73% of Russians support recognizing the republics. It was on that day, in the evening, Putin announced that Russia recognizes the republics. Smells suspicious, right? A very convenient timing for this poll and a very convenient result for state propaganda. I am absolutely 100% sure that these results of the poll cannot be trusted. So I wouldn't trust the other recent poll by the same government polling organizations FTSIOM that say that 77% of Russians now all of a sudden support Putin. I more or less trust the previous polls by the independent Levada Center, which showed that 32% used to support Putin before the war. However, I strongly believe that now this percentage is even lower. And here's why. 
I know some people who supported the recognition of Donetsk and Lugansk republics because most people living there are of a Russian and not Ukrainian ethnicity and because historically they belonged to Russia and they were given to Ukraine by Lenin and many people consider this not just. So they supported the recognition of the republics, but most of these people categorically do not support the war. They do not support bombing Kyiv or killing the Ukrainians. They support none of this madness. So even though around a half of Russians, as I said, used to support recognizing or annexing the republics, most of those people did not think that all this would escalate into a full-scale war. And most of them are, of course, shocked by the fact and strongly against this war. So if anything, I believe that the start of this war has made Putin's approval ratings plummet, not rise. Unfortunately, I doubt that we will have any independent polls in Russia in the foreseeable future to prove this. Another proof of my words is the fact that 15,000 people have been arrested during the last couple of weeks for anti-war protests. Most are afraid to go there because the police arrests almost everyone and sometimes violently beats them. And uh, since this week, you can now go to jail for up to 15 years for participating in such protests. It's very dangerous, but many people still go to such demonstrations and I really admire their courage. Although, unfortunately, I, frankly speaking, doubt that it will help. There is too many police and special forces on the streets. Another proof of a low support of Putin and low support of this war is the fact that many groups of people have publicly spoken out against this war. Many thousands of Russian doctors have signed petitions against this war. Russian musicians, writers, journalists, historians, IT developers, scientists, businessmen, cooks, lawyers, designers, even priests of Russian Orthodox Church have all signed separate petitions against this war. Over one million people signed the petition against this war on change.arc. Most of them are Russians and it's one of the most signed petitions on this website ever. Even students, alumni and professors of Moscow State Institute of International Relations, Magimo University, have signed a separate petition against this war. Henry Kissinger dubbed this university as Harvard of Russia because it educates so many of Russia's political, economic and intellectual elite. This university is governed by the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, is the chairman of its board. I am a graduate of MGIMO and I myself have also signed this petition among many of my friends and more than one and a half thousand other students, alumni and professors, even though many of them were afraid of repercussions for their career or for their enrollment in the university. For doing so, they still did it. So I hope you understand now how widespread anti-war beliefs are in Russia. Unfortunately, there are, of course, some people who support this war. Most of them are older people who don't use the internet, who believe everything the television, the state propaganda says. We no longer have independent TV channels in Russia. The last of them, Dorsht or The Rain, was closed by the Russian censoring authority Roskomnadzor. And uh, even before that, they banned uh, this channel, Dorsht, from most TV providers. So some people have been brainwashed by the propaganda and uh, they support this war. They don't know anything about it. They believe that this is just a special operation and that, that uh, we are doing the right thing, killing the Nazis there in Ukraine. I don't know. They believe it. So I estimate that these are 15 to 20 percent of Russians, something like that. In my next videos, I'll speak about what to do with all that and whether there is room for optimism. If you have any ideas for topics of my future videos, please tell me them in the comments. Also, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Besides, I'm a podcast host, so I will continue recording my podcast on trends of society, tech, biohacking, productivity, other topics, but that will probably wait until the end of this horrible war. I hope that this war ends soon and my heart goes to all its victims. Innocent Ukrainians who are dying every day in huge numbers and the poor Russians whose country has been taken over by an evil and corrupt dictator. 
Thanks for watching. Take care.